Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include e-book maker Amazon sued by the EU over taxes. European Union imposes blanket trade tariff on US bioethanol. German president calls for English to be the default language of the EU. EU supermarkets blamed for Kenyan food waste. And finally, doctors could be barred from Britain if they cannot speak English. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, ebook manufacturer Amazon faces legal action from the EU. The maker of the Kindle e-reader finds itself in the sights of the Commission for breaching VAT rules. Amazon offices in France and Luxembourg both face charges. There has been much concern over multinational tax evasion and it seems that there is little that can be done at a national level. It will be interesting to see how EU law pans out in this case. Interestingly, it appears that the EU's left hand seems to know not what the right is doing. The EU has implemented a 9.5% import tariff on all bioethanol being imported from the US. I suspect that won't please the US negotiators as when it comes to designing and implementing the EU-US free trade agreement. Well, it looks like I'm not going to need those Learn French CDs from Michel Thomas. Apparently, the German president has called upon the EU to make English the language of the European Union. Of course, this could make drastic savings as it seems reasonable to assume that the current policy of translating every article, directive, report and pamphlet into uh, 27 different languages will suddenly become redundant. This does not bode very well for the sale of my Learn French CDs, however. There is plenty of economic development taking place between the EU and Africa. This particular article looks at how cosmetic standards are impacting on the sales of Kenyan produce. The sad part of this article is that almost 3 million of the native folks living in Kenya are reliant upon food aid, and yet shipments of produce refused entry into the EU market and subsequently discarded amounts to some 40 tonnes of edible produce each week. Couple this with the report I highlighted about a month ago whereby the EU was imposing further restrictions on Kenyan crops because of the crop treatments in use. Once again we're left with a sense of shock and awe at the gargantuan stupidity and lack of real world comprehension when it comes to policy writing in the House of Herman. Like the NHS needs much more in the way of bad news before the dedicated folks in our medical establishment simply throw in the towel and swap surgery and psychiatry for burger flipping at McDonald's. And frankly, who could blame them? This latest announcement from the General Medical Council to test language skills before doctors from EU countries will be allowed to practice in the UK. An eminently sensible idea. I mean, can you imagine the doctor explaining to you in Flemish that he will be treating your irritable bowel syndrome by performing a frontal lobe lobotomy? Especially concerning if his assisting nurse then asks you if you'd like to go large. Today in our video library, a return to recent history. Take a look back at this video from 2007. CNN reported on the desire by Europol elites to develop the EU into a federal superstate. Always interesting to see what was brushed to one side as never going to happen, and yet they didn't lie to us, they made their intentions perfectly clear. That's all for me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for discussion and interactive debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area and get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.